Ich hip, hip, ich lass mich heute Abend blicken. Ich komm gut geschmückt in den Laden geritten. Alle tanzen, die Damen sind echt ein Zücken. Ganz Backblech voller Sahne. Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Carrie, the nosy housefrau. Welcome if you're a new person. Welcome back if you're a loyal subscriber person. I really appreciate all of you. And welcome to the 20th day of Vlogmas. We've gotten this far. I've done a vlog every day so far in December. Sometimes they're just about my cat. Sometimes they're about drama. Sometimes we're out seeing Christmas lights. But I have stuck to it. It's about quantity, not quality, people. <laughs> But I'll get back to quality after the new year. This is me focusing on uploading more regularly. Um, I'm not going to go back to like one a week. I hope to do at least two to three videos a week of better quality. We'll start with shooting for two and we'll see how it goes. But I'm due to get my computer back. I've been doing all of this without my PC because it's in repairs at Lenovo in Memphis, Tennessee. And hopefully it's going to be back. They said nine days. And this ain't my first time at the rodeo, so I knew to say thank you and not believe them. <laughs> so anyway, tonight we're going to talk about drama. i got an itch on my nose. See, that's an old wives' tale that you're going to have a fight if your nose itches. <laughs> well, it could be, because we're about to talk about some sensitive subjects. One is drama investigator. Apparently, we need to go down memory lane on this one. If you haven't heard, recently Drama Investigator put up a rewind video that she took down that featured a thumbnail of, or mug shots of both Tawny, Michelle, and BTS. Um, disclaimer, I like both of those girls and I'm very good friends with Tawny, which a lot of people know. Love her. We even met her in real life. She is great. She's like my internet daughter and I couldn't be more proud of how amazing she is, so I get a little disproportionately upset when something like that happens to her because I know what she's been through and I know how hard she's fought to make her life better and she really deserves to be able to put ancient history behind her particularly when it comes to addiction and if you haven't watched her addiction series you absolutely should even if you don't struggle with addiction as I do not myself you'll learn a lot about uh, people who do uh, substance abuse that is my, my addiction is carbs, <laughs> so that's a story for another time <laughs> when we do the Incredible Shrinking House Rouse series. So for now, I want to talk about this video. Now about, was it five months ago or so, or something like that, Tawny put out a video, it's really good. I mean, if you like receipts, this was well done, and I'll put the link below. And basically, it was calling out Drama Investigator on her using uh, other people's material and not giving them credit for it. Here for the T sent a tweet, and it's in this video that's, uh, that Tawny has, and it said, kindly stop using my stuff without giving me credit, clearly this is my thumbnail, etc., so on and so forth. Now, it wasn't uh, a love fest, but it certainly was merely direct. It wasn't inappropriate in any way. And she was responded with, by suck my demonetization. And... You know, that girl doesn't even have a demonetization. I mean, you could argue if you're married, you do have one. It's just attached to another person if you're a heterosexual woman. I mean, I guess you could say you have, you know, you could suck my demonetization if you're talking about your husband, which why would you be? So, yeah, no, it was just a weird reply all around. Not only did she say something really inappropriate and odd, it was so unnecessary. It was just like... And this whole weird, there's a new drama channel in town and I'm going to take all your fans? Wink. What? <laughs> that was weird. But it got worse. She also, this is the part that I think bugs me the most next to the mug shots. She put up, um, man here, if I get rid of all these flies, <laughs> Lordess of the flies over here. She put up a video that said, um, she that was speaking in the first person as if she was the person in the video like I almost got killed at Tanacon. She'll put up these really misleading videos and then put up like merch ideas that she stole from another video during that video which knowingly misrepresents her for clickbait. She is working the system. I don't care if you think she's good or she's bad. She is playing the game and she is not playing by the rules. She doesn't care. She's, she's doing an ends justifies the means. And in fact, I saw in her recent video where she was uh, eating some nuggets, she was talking about basically making herself sound like a victim, how she was, um, you know, being accused of, of heinous things. Well, Tawny brought the receipts. Everything you were accused of, you did. If you have a video that says I, 
and it's not you in the video, like using a 14 year old girl's emergency room visit for views, that's irrefutable. It's out there. So don't say you're being accused of things you didn't do when we could see it with our own friggin' eyes. What am I taking crazy pills? Anyway, so for some reason, you know, in Tawny's video, she ends it by saying, I still think this girl could turn it around if she stopped using these titles and whatever. I mean, I think that's not being particularly vicious. She's calling her out for what she's doing and she's saying, hey, you know, you could still do really well at this if you just stop doing that. How horrible is that, that she felt the need to retaliate months later with um, showing their mugshots? And I don't understand why people do this. Like, everybody knows Mango T did this to BTS. And doxed her with her name, by the way. Um, everybody, even though it was uh, supposedly if you dig quite a bit, you could find it. That doesn't mean you say it, too. So everybody knew Mango T did this. He got backlash for this. And then this girl goes and does the same thing. She puts up mugshots. After everybody explains why this is an unconscionable thing to do, it's not funny. Um, and you know, when I see people do things that are mean to people like Cookie in, I kind of feel like they has it coming because he had attempted to make somebody look like a pedophile. More than one person, I think at least three people, you know, and you know, that SOB, I don't feel sorry for him. But when you come for somebody and throw the past, their past in their face, and they haven't really done anything to anybody, they've only been nice, and they're struggling to keep their lives on track one day at a time, what the hell are you thinking? I mean, this I really question this girl's moral compass. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because recently she did that little mukbang video, and uh, YouTubers I hate, which was mostly a love fest of people she likes. And... And in that video, she was basically, you know, saying that she, that she was accused of things she didn't do. But in the comments, she was just getting a ton of love. And I thought, mm, this is not okay. And I don't blame people for not knowing the whole story, but I'm happy to help shine a light on the truth, which cannot be hidden. So that's how I feel about that. If you really like Drama Investigator and you think she's on the up and up, please get all of the facts. I urge you to see what this person is really about. Hopefully, she will turn herself around and she will say, you know what, I started out just trying to gain subscribers, you know, and, and I was, you know, really not doing it the proper way. And I feel sorry and now I'll do this right. And there's always, there's always time to redeem yourself. There's always an option to redeem yourself in that situation. Um, but I, so far, it looks like she doesn't have an interest in doing that. And to tell people flat out to suck her demonetization <laughs> Not nice. Uh, on to a, a drama topic that amuses me, and that is Trisha Paytas and Laura Lee. Have you heard about this? You must have heard about this by now. There was a big party at someone's house for a bunch of YouTubers. It looked like an a-hole convention, frankly. And they're doing one of those white elephant games, or we, we call it the dice game, I guess, where there's a bunch of prizes and you know you could pass them around and when one person wins, oh, you have the option to take it away. I hate that friggin' game. I, I, I hate things in life, I'm gonna hold on to them tooth and nail. I don't want someone taking it from me. What kind of a game is this? That is not a game that people who have ever had money problems can appreciate playing, okay? I, I get something, it's mine. I keep it, I'm the youngest of 10. I'm very possessive of my stuff. Not that I don't share, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so they're playing this game and the, the amount that you were supposed to spend, it's always small for these games. It was $50. People are freaking out because Trisha Paytas, who's got a horrible fear of blending, has to buy a $1,200 iPad or tablet and puts it in the $50 game and it kind of stands out like a sore thumb. She went way over the top with the expenses. Now normally I'm the last person who's going to come to Trisha Paytas's defense but consider this. She has been bougie for so long like faking it till she makes it that she has become bougie. And I don't think she knows how to spend $50. I think her $50 is 1200 I saw her buy a $1,750 Fendi charm thing for her purse that she'll never see again. It's in a closet somewhere. She wouldn't know how. Like, if you could send her into a 7-Eleven, and she's still going to get $1,200 worth of nachos. <laughs> no nap 
talking because who needs that? She doesn't know how to, she'll be like throw in some beef jerky. This is, this is 50, right? This is everything in the store is $50, I'll take it. So I think to her, 1200 was 50. She's like, I'll go a little bit. She probably, she could have been spending all day, you know, first it started out with something like this, you know, okay, that's good. And then it was like, you know what though? I should at least get like a nice purse or something. And then it became something more like maybe a Louis. Like, you know what? I can't give somebody a gift that isn't at least $1,200. What am I, a dirt bag? I gotta spend $1,200 because that's nothing. That's a, that's a stocking stuffer to her. So I kind of get it, but it was just so typical. I mean, on the list of crazy things she's done, just stop. If you're going to comment on her doing that, you don't know the woman. That is very low on the list of strange things she's done or poor behavior, you could say. All right, this is a woman who made herself the poster child for chlam chlamydia and then <laughs> opened up a hookup site with her name on it after talking about how she got the clap or whatever from all the men. I don't, by the way, this is not slut shaming, okay? If you could have ordered up sex like a pizza when I was younger, I probably would have gotten a disease too. I'm being honest. And we still, we're, I mean, before I started uh, to become intimate with people as an adult, as a young woman, that's when they told me it could kill you, okay? In 1986, people were dropping like flies from the one thing I couldn't wait to do. And I still went and did it later on. So, you know, I'm not slut shaming. I'm just saying. <laughs> this got off track. Oh, Merry Christmas. I should not be left alone with the nog. Hmm. Just kidding. It's hot milk. So, sorry, vegans. I love a little hot milk before bed. So, anyway, we didn't even get to Laura Lee yet. <laughs> I'm still going on about Trisha. Laura Lee snags it up like a witch will do when you're playing that game. The evil person who's like, ha ha, I got it, you know. And in my family, it's going to be something like, you know, Jingle Bell toilet paper that when you pull it, it, it sings. Jingle Bells. But no, this was the tablet. And Laura Lee turned around and put it on her Instagram. <laughs> and then when people called her out on it, like, wow, well, you worked really hard for that. She's like, I did, I won it. It's on my Instagram. She used it for a giveaway. Tacky, 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 how tacky is that? Oh my gosh. But what's so funny to me, I just, I can't get mad about it. First of all, it doesn't matter to me anyway. None of this has anything to do with me. But when it comes to Laura Lee, she is like a lot of these young beauty influences. I mean influencers. She's like a lot of them. She couldn't condescend to apologize for anything. Now she's got to squirm and do damage control, but she's not going to apologize. This is not the strong suit of this young beauty influenza generation. She's basically um, going to do a video. I didn't think it was a problem. I'm sorry. Remember her being so disgusted with herself and it's like, I am so disgusted with myself. And then she turns around and does another disgusting thing. <laughs> it's like, What's next? I have to say, I'm going to be sitting on the sidelines with my popcorn because um, I just have to see what comes next. I have to say. And for those of you who say I'm jealous and bitter, of course I am. And I'll see you all tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 21. The 21st of December was the day my son was due. And he was born December 26th. Just missed Christmas. But that's a story we'll save for the annual telling of the story. And I wish you all a very good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you've watched this whole thing, I so appreciate you. Happy Vlogmas. So stay at the house, Ralph.